I'd like to explain our thinking behind the colors in Flinto for Mac. And I'm specifically talking about the links, the link lines, the selection borders, and uh, the colors associated with behaviors. So the links are blue. That just felt like the right color. Links on the web are blue, so links in Flinto are blue. And that's where we started. And then the link line is red, because I really wanted that to stand out and kind of represent this action that's taking place. And so then I made the target screens have a red border around them. So whenever you select a link, the target screen is shown in red, or shown with a red border. So with that red and blue in mind, when you go into the transition designer, we made the end screen red, because that's the target screen, and the start screen uses blue. So you see the red and blue colors throughout. The connected layer icon, the easing curve here, and even the border that appears when you hover over layers. So you can see this red border because it's on the end screen, and that helps you to know which screen you're about to select. We also use the colors up here. The start state is blue, the end state is red, and the play button changes colors as you toggle. Now when you have connected layers, like this uh, picture of Jupiter, when I hover over that, you see the outline is purple. And that's because connected layers are kind of merged between the start and the end screen, and if you mix red and blue, you get purple. So that, that seemed to make sense to me. And if I select something, click connect layers, you get this line for making a connection, and that line is also purple for the same reason. All right, let me exit out of the transition designer. And we also use these colors in the layer list. So a layer that has a link around it has a blue border. And if you make a link from a group, the group, uh, the group icon turns blue as well. All right, let's talk about behaviors. So if I select this group here, you can see in the layer list, it has a behavior on it. And you know that because the folder turns purple. Now I use purple for connected layers in the transition designer because connected layers are sort of a merge between the start and the end screen. Well, in behaviors, it works very similarly where there's no defined start and end. It's almost as if every layer in the behavior designer is connected. So purple, again, seemed like the appropriate color. And we use this little magic wand icon to represent behaviors. So that kind of helps you pick those out. Now, when I go into the behavior designer to edit this behavior, all the links are now purple. So everywhere that you saw a link in the canvas that would have been blue, it's now purple in the behavior designer. And the link line and the selection border, it's all purple. That's because the way links work in the behavior designer is very similar to the way links work in the canvas. And we wanted to minimize any confusion about, am I looking at the canvas or am I in the behavior designer? And so we figured using that purple color, which sort of makes sense for behaviors, using that strongly throughout the behavior designer will help you realize these are behavior links, behavior gestures, I'm in the behavior designer, so there's not too much confusion about what types of links you're creating. When you exit out of here, the links are blue again. So not really something you need to think about in your everyday use of Flinto for Mac, but I think it's kind of fun to see the thinking behind the colors.